What time do you look at this apartment? Not till 10, so we have plenty of time for a game. And you say that this guy is good, right? Oh, he's very good. Ah, uh, uh, Fraser. Uh, uh, carrot brand? No, oat brand. It's Tuesday. Oh, yeah, right. Always oat brand on Tuesday. Right, right, yeah. Uh, this is my friend Ray. Ray, this is... Uh... H. H, like the letter H? Correct. A uh, beautiful day. Yeah. H, is that short for something? Uh, oh, uh, there's no 1540 Belden Avenue. A street ends at uh, 1500. H receives calls in the plate he has in his head. Oh. Yes, uh, it, was, it was off the coast of Finland. Helsinki desk. Big dispute. Three Russian fishermen. Oh, Helsinki desk. So you what? Work with the CIA or? Yeah, who you work for? He's with the Chicago PD. Oh. Uh, Dr. Jeff Barker. Paging Dr. Jeff Barker. Please pick up the courtesy phone. Dr. Barker, pick up the courtesy phone, please. And a moment. Interesting stratagem. Double bluff and hide in plain view. <laughs> I used that ruse in 56 to smuggle Santos out of Budapest before the tanks came rolling in. Uh, what's he talking about? He's a super secret espionage spy guy, and nobody knows about it except you, me, and everyone else. <laughs> Will you stop mocking me? You get on my nerves. Just stop it, stop it. Uh, now then, let me see how about that. Checkmate. Uh, that I understand. No way. Yeah, I think he's got you, right. Okay, another game, right. double or nothing. Well, hey, we really should get going. Oh, yes, I uh, hope you like the apartment. You'd be a great asset to this neighborhood. Oh, well, thank you kindly. Now, uh, what's the time? Oh, oh, I'm late. Is there a, is, is there a back way out of here? <laughs> Move out the way, will you? I had him, Fraser. I was hustling him. I gave him a couple of games, and then I was going to crank him for the big money. What do you want to bet he's on lithium the size of pudding pops? Not right. It's this way. No, no, it's this way. Well, Diefenbaker's very rarely wrong. OK. This time, when you're talking to the landlord, do not volunteer that he's a wolf, OK? Well, you are a wolf. <laughs> yes, I know, but most people aren't as open-minded as you. Don't talk to the dog in public, Fraser. It embarrasses me. Understood. OK. I'm telling you there's no 1540 Belden dispatch. The street just ends. 32 years, no contact. Suspicious looking. What's he up to? Maybe it's a combination of electromagnetism, cellular phones, radio waves. Something's confusing. Oh, yeah, that must be it. You know, Ray, it's sad. It's sad and pathetic to watch a grown man gloat over besting a dog. You have your hobbies. I have mine. It's not a hobby. It's... it's... Oh. Help! It's oh. Oh. Chicago PD! Hey. Oh. You okay? Fine. H! Ray. What's that? It's a theater ticket. So? Pitter patter, let's get at her. Come on. Hey. Hey. Come on. Hey.
Look, I barely tapped him. I threw him a dead fish, sir. He dropped dead. He heart attacked or something. He was assaulting or maybe robbing this old chess guy. We don't know, but somehow it involved these theater tickets. You killed the guy for scalping? Look, the maid does not like it when the Chicago PD goes around killing its citizens. Look, he, he had no ID. He might not have even been a citizen. Oh, it's great. He's a foreigner. So it doesn't matter that we killed him. Chamber of Commerce is going to love that one. Great for tourism. Oh, where's this old guy now? Fraser's out looking for him. Dead body is downstairs? Yeah. All right. I want to know who this guy is, and I want to know right now. When they ask me upstairs, who is this guy we killed, I want to be able to write a book about him. Yes, sir. Now, when you kill a guy, this whole department has killed that guy. Do you understand? Look, I barely tapped him. Do you understand? I didn't even bruise my hammer. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Is it, boy? Huh? Well, perhaps we can find a manager. Huh? That's trespassing. Or maybe just this uh, once. My name is Constable Benton Fraser, RCMP, and I first came to Chicago on the trail of the killers of my father. For reasons that don't need exploring at this juncture, I've remained attached as liaison with the Canadian consulate. Are you the police? Well, yes, but I'm here strictly in an unofficial capacity. Well, I'm looking for Mr. Hanrahan. Uh, uh he moved out. Oh. When? Uh, about an hour ago. Ah, I see. Uh, do you by any chance know where he's gone? But if you find him, you tell him he owes me a week's rent. Oh, so you own the building? I'm the manager. I see. Do you also live here? Yes. I see. Uh, um, my, my, my gun, please. That gun's my protection. Please give me back my gun. Do you have a permit for this weapon, ma'am? Well, I... You see, that could be a bit of a problem. Mr. Hanrahan, it's Constable Fraser. What are you doing? This is my apartment. Yes, I realize that, ma'am. Mr. Hanrahan, it's extremely important that I speak with you. Oh, well, come in. Thank you, Captain. How did you find me? The single strand of hair that you used to monitor your bedside drawer, the same stylish tone that makes your hair so pleasing to the eye. Also, your pillowcase carried the floral scent that I noticed you favor. And I see you are a reader of Count Liebnitz. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The man who is truly hidden... ...is the man who hides beside himself. Yes, yes. And the man who attacked you today... I don't remember that one. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm actually talking about the man who attacked you today. Oh, you're actually asking me about the man who attacked me today. Yes, actually, today. Yeah. That is a matter of national security. I see. The man is dead. I'll talk to you, but she has to leave the room. Oh, Albert. Now, Ruth, we, we, we've been through this many, many times. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. It's very private, very personal. Albert. Albert. Constable, I'm a coward. 
You're not a coward, sir. I've seen your medal huh. from Korea. There were no cowards at the Chosin Reservoir. Oh, it was years ago. I, I was just a kid. But I've become, I've become afraid. I'm, 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 I'm afraid of choice. I'm afraid of responsibility. I've been hiding from reality. And my excuse is, I've been waiting for my country to call on me. <laughs> Finally, they call. Look, look, they, 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 there's, there's nothing left of me. I, nothing but talk and talk and talk and, and fear. Sir, excuse me, are, are you telling me <clears throat> that you're an intelligence operative in deep cover, living here in this rooming house, that you receive unwelcome taxi calls on a plate in your head, you play chess in a park, and that you're waiting for your government to activate you? You've been very well briefed. Well, I wonder then if you could explain the significance of this. Albert, what's going on in there? <sighs> Ruth is so proud of me. It's going to break her heart when she knows the truth. Now, you go in my place, okay? This is where you will meet your contact. Are you completely nuts, Fraser? Not completely. Not Come on, the guy is a mental patient. He picks up taxi calls via his head. Well, somebody attacked him. Oh, geez, in that part of town, what a surprise. Vecchio, what's the word on that John Doe? Uh, nothing, sir. You been downstairs? To the cold meat party? Not yet, sir. Wait for an engraved invitation? I hate this part. I really hate this part. It's all part of life, Ray. Look, don't tell me it's a part of life, Fraser. I know it's a part of life. It's the worst part. You know, eternity waits for us all, Ray. And in the knowledge that there's something larger than ourselves, I find a, a certain peace. You lick anything. I mean anything. I'm gone. Understood. Olivia, Olivia, hi, boys. Hey, it's freezing in here. Can't you turn it up a bit? The heat or something? You wouldn't want me to. Have you determined the cause of death? I was going to get to him after dinner. Uh, well, do you mind if I uh, be my guest? Thank you. You see, there is a special at Mendelssohn's. Mm -hmm. Chicken de Trazzini with peach melba as dessert. Mm -hmm. Clothes! Where's his clothes? In that plastic bag there. Hmm. You smoke rough tobacco. Turkish, possibly a Russian blend. Liquid soap. The kind used in airline bathrooms. Give me one hour, I'll tell you what he had for supper. Huh? Well, you know, I, I might be able to do that now. Well, you see, in the North, we don't often have access to post-mortem equipment, so we've developed a very simple, non-intrusive technique. So what do you do? You smell his breath? Yes, actually. Ah, <laughs> oh, Fraser, that is the most disgusting thing I've ever glimpsed. Mm. Mm -hmm. Almonds. Yeah. Let me adjust this light. Huh. That's dental work. It looks like it was done by gardening tools. <laughs> ah, you see here? Yeah. One cap, third distal molar. Cyanide. Cyanide. Hey, hey, hey! Include me here. I don't think you killed this man, Ray. When you hit him in the jaw, he bit down on a cyanide cap he had in his tooth and poisoned himself. Good. This guy has no label, so who the hell is he? My guess is, judging by the amount of cash he has between his teeth, that he arrived in the country today by plane, probably on a Polish or Russian airline. He smokes Russian cigarettes. He has a cyanide cap in his tooth. Some people might conclude, as Mr. Hanrahan does, that he is a Russian spy. Come on, the Russians can't afford food, let alone spies, Fraser. Well, people can starve, Ray, but a government can always afford spies. Well, I've got to get ready. I'll have to scrub up before I attend the theater tonight. And I'll tell you something, I'm kind of looking forward to it. The last time I went to the theater, it was the Great Bear Lake Opera Appreciation Society's presentation of the shooting of Dan McGrew at the 17th Annual Yellowknife Cultural Festival and Blanket Toss. Come on, Fraser, you're not serious. I never joke about culture. Oh, I have two tickets for Lucia de la Mumur for Saturday. Oh, huh? I'd love to accompany you. Oh, OK, what a deal. Uh, Goodbye, Ray. Hey, hey, Fraser, who's going to ID the body? You are. It is the ink pad. And remember, you have to roll the pad around the top of his finger. It's not like printing a live man. Huh? I'm not doing it. Well, I'm going for dinner. Chicken tetrazzini. Mm. 
I'm not doing it. Que tu as dit, spiegas tiarami. Oh, this sucks. Don't look at me like that. I only have the one ticket. Aside from which, what do you care? You're deaf. Mm. Is that Sabaya? I don't know. Where's Carl? I don't know. I will deal with this myself. Wait for me. I'm afraid this is a, a non-smoking environment. White raven waits for the right wave. I see. The white raven waits for the right wave. Oh. Um. <clears throat> Rusty Ruggles rode his wet reindeer through the red window. Are we playing games? I thought we were, yes. I just like games. Oh. I'm here to do business. Arms business. Exhilarating for me. You see, we very rarely had to like music where I come from. Well. Well, because it's so remote. I mean, the cost of flying a symphony orchestra in by seaplane is us prohibitive. I mean, not to mention the dangers inherent of applying one's lips to brass instruments in sub-zero temperatures. As a matter of fact, there was a very amusing, somewhat painful incident at the 67 centennial. So the feds don't have his fingerprints on file. What's the problem? But they don't say that. They're hiding something. If they didn't have the prints, they'd come out and say so, but they don't. No, no, no. It's government. They never just come out and say anything. We had a seminar, information sharing, in the 21st century, where we had homework, scribblers, everything, remember? Let it go. Want to get involved with the feds? It's always a disaster. Hey, you're the one who wanted to know who the hell this guy was. Hey, I changed my mind. Lieutenant, I killed the guy. Detective. Uh, the shooting team from Internal Affairs, they want you available to them, so don't leave the building. But I didn't shoot anybody. Yeah, but we don't have a punching team, so you're just gonna have to make do. And so you see, when he lost his lips, he was forced to abandon the horn section, and he took up the triangle. Do you have any idea who I am? Actually, no. Which is what... Shh! My apologies. Are you enjoying just... this kind of dangerous little game? Well, that's an excellent question. First of all, if I can... Shh. Follow me. As you wish. Shh. Certainly. Who do you work for? Technically, the queen. He worked for the colon. Sir, can you start up? Oh, you're Russian. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mistook you for being English. Shh. I'm terribly sorry. Excuse
Pike. Cigar? No, thank you. Wise. <laughs> Why are you land yourself in a hell of a mess? At first I thought that the Canadians weren't involved, but uh, now I think you're RCMP. Well, I am. I know you say you are, but I think you are. Well, I am, I said. Yeah, beautiful. You got RCMP written all over your face. Who the hell would ever think you're undercover? Who are you? Yeah. Hold this for a second, will you? We operate on a need-to-know basis. For security reasons, we're not given a full, total picture of our mandates and objectives. So, uh, just to be clear, your organization is so secret that even you don't know what it is you're doing? That's right. That's absolutely right. That gentleman who your partner killed this morning, he was our conduit to the location of the weapons stockpiles. Now we're back to square one. Who are the colonels? Colonel, what do you know about the colonels? Well, nothing, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. Well, when the Soviet Union split up, the KGB went freelance. They split up into two groups, the mafia and the colonels, both fight to control of black market activity. We believe the colonels have an agent deep in America, a code named Nautilus. An odd designation? Does he lift weights? No, no, no one's ever seen him. He stays under for long periods of time. Nerve to steal. How much do the Canadians know? Well, that depends on the Canadian. Educational opportunities vary from region to region. Ah, the old double blind maneuver. I used that in Reykjavik in 81. Ever been to Reykjavik? Uh, no, no, I haven't. The most beautiful woman in the world there. Her skin. It must be the cold air. The Colonel! No, I, I don't think so. Take a run for the Mexican border. Fresh passports. New IDs. Well, I'm afraid that I have responsibilities. Time's up. Watch your step. Adios. Oh, man, my tomb! Good evening. What the? Terribly sorry about this, but a little bit of glue, I'm sure it'll be as good as new. Ah, thanks for coming, Ray. You mind telling me what the hell's going on, Fraser? Have you ever seen the magic flute? Oh, yeah, hundreds of times. Well, then I'm sure you'll agree with me. It's the most interesting evening in the theater. Oh, yeah. I checked with the FBI file, but I couldn't find squat. Well, if the FBI files are close to us, perhaps the RCMP will be more generous with their information sharing. You know, I hope Francesca doesn't mind me using her station. Yeah, right. She'll never wash those keys again. It'll be like uh, Wayne Newton typed here or something. I'll just log on to the computer of the consulate and piggyback onto the mainframe database control in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. How'd you learn to do that? Well, early childhood piano training is an asset. Do you have his fingerprint card? Uh, how can she work here? It's like a pig stack. Oh, good evening. Thank you kindly. Consular access code should override any restricting systems. That's him. Carl Almatsov, former major of the KGB. Since the breakup of the Soviet Union, he's been working freelance for gun runners, drug dealers, the IRA, whoever's the price of his wage. He suspected... Oh, dear. What? What? It's top secret. You're kidding me? No, I'm most certainly not. What I'm doing right now could be considered grounds for treason. I'm afraid oh. you'll have to close your eyes. Come on, Fraser. You will have to close... Come on! You will have to close your eyes. Take a chill pill. Thank you. Jeez. He is suspected of being involved in the sale of a large shipment of stolen Russian military equipment. This equipment is believed to have entered... No peeking. Wasn't. You were? Wasn't. Liar. It was believed to have entered the United States during some time of the week, June 23rd, through O'Hare. Stop it! Stop what? You know very well what? What are you mumbling about? I'm sorry. Basically, Canadian intelligence believes that there is a second armed group known only as the Colonels and that they will attempt to intercept this shipment. Wasn't that who the chick at the ballet thought you were, the Colonels? Exactly. How the hell did you get into the FBI files? Hey, it's Canadian file. RCMP file, sir. Canadians have computers now? Oh, strangely, yes. In addition to that, we also have our own news magazine, McLean's, uh, as well as a special edition of Sports Illustrated, although that is something of a hot potato in the area of cultural protection, which, I might add, the Americans refuse to uh, acknowledge even exists. That's terrific. You're gonna stay out of this, detective. Is that clear? Yes, sir. All right. I'll clear you with the shooting team, but you'll have no further involvement in this. You do, you'll be teaching traffic directing in Zaire. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, Zaire has changed its name. It's now the Democratic Republic of the Congo. I don't care. Ah. Now, out, out. Two of you. Get out. Three bags full, sir. What the hell does that mean? Well, it means there was a coup d'etat in the jungle. Not man. that. I mean the computer. It means that Mr. Hanrahan is in great danger. Where are we going? To a place where you'll be safe. Are you sure this is necessary? That's what I said. It's quite necessary. Oh, I need a rest. Oh, I I'm putting you straight to bed. Come on. There, you'll be comfortable here. You have a problem? 
I don't like old people sleeping in my bed. They smell funny, Fraser. Perhaps you smell funny. Are you two going to tell me what Albert is supposed to have done? Well, there's a couple of things we need to do before we can be certain of anything. In the meantime, please don't answer the door to anyone and don't answer the phone. If one of us is coming over, we'll call, let it ring once, then hang up and call right back. And I'll leave Diefenbaker here with you. Right. Stay. Fraser, the wolf can't stay here. Why not? Because of the, um, turtle. Diefenbaker has no interest in the turtle. The turtle and the wolf are natural enemies, Fraser. Mm, they're fighting and they... Stay. <laughs> Would you uh, lock the door behind us? I'll look after you, turtle. Ray, I wonder if you could drop me by the consulate. I'd like to see if I can find some more information on the colonels. Don't you ever sleep? Well, of course I do, Ray. As a matter of fact, I just had a 30-second nap coming down the stairs. It's very refreshing. Sir. Well, seeing as you're up and Miss Hanoran's here to see you. Jewel. Hanoran? Miss Hanoran? Detective Vecchio. Oh. They said you found my father. Who said? The Veterans Hospital at Bakikan. They called me last night. We only put that uh, inquiry on the computer yesterday. I mean, <laughs> you don't waste any time. I came as fast as I could. They said you found him. Four years, I'd almost given up hope. Where is he? Is, is he all right? Yeah. Um, can I see some ID? Certainly. Mm. Thanks. Um, hate to have to ask this, but there, um, your father ever worked for the government? No, he was an accountant until his breakdown. He was taking treatment at the vet, and then he disappeared. Detective, I really must see my father. Yeah, okay, um, I'll take you to him. Do you often sleep at the station? I, uh, live by my wits, uh, a calling that affords me at times no great, uh, measure of security. <laughs> Vecchio. Ray, I just heard back on that missing Hanrahan guy. He had a daughter. Francesca, way to be all over that job. Guess who's in the car with me? I don't know. That's a pretty good question, seeing as the daughter drowned two years ago. Hang up the phone. Go on. Okay. Take me to him. No. Take me to him or I shoot. Go ahead. Look, I don't care, lady. Go ahead, shoot. I don't care if you kill the both of us. I'm nuts. Come on, let's go. Slow down. I'll kill both of us. Let's go. Slow down. Yeah, okay. Get in. That was a mistake. Don't get the wrong idea about me. I'm a serious man. Yeah, right. Okay, see some ID? Maybe you should show me some ID, Ray Kowalski. <laughs> what, 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 is, what are you saying? Three years ago, the uh, Thero CCO division started tracking a mob lieutenant in Vegas known as Armando the Bookman Lagostini. <laughs> Turns out uh, Ray Vecchio is a dead ringer for a line team. So what do they do? They start grooming him. And then what do you know? What do you know happens? Car crash! <laughs> Car crash, the bookman's killed. Was it an accident? You be the judge. Anyway, this opens up a window of opportunity. So the feds slide in Ray Vecchio as the bookman. 
But this is a fragile cover. So they need to, they need to cover the cover. They need a new Ray Vecchio to slide in there at, at the Division 27 Chicago PD. They pick you. Oh. Yeah, how do you know all this? I know everything. I know everything. They, they, they tell me everything. I mean, I know everything. You graduated from high school with a 61% average. 62. That's a failing average where I come from. You're 5 foot 10 and a half. You weigh 139 pounds. Your vision is 2060. You got, uh, no, 2045. Stigmatism. I had a stigmatism. You got a tattoo on your left shoulder. A tattoo is a right shoulder, right? Satellite photos are off in reverse. What do you want? I do the talking. I do the talking. You draw the conclusions. Get it? Get out. Get out of the car. But Sorry. Just put a little bit of glue and it'll be okay. I woke up and you were gone. Oh, I had to go out and get something for my headache. Oh, I, I need a drink. Now, you know I don't have money for that sort of thing. I could get the money. Look at that. Where did you get that? I got it yesterday in the park. In the park? Do you know what this means? Everyone's been looking for this. Th there must be a code or something. Oh, yeah, a, a microdot. Oh. oh, this is wonderful. Shall we call the police? No. No. This is your chance to be a hero. How? Well, you're going to get these men. I can't do that. Yes, you can. I'm gonna be right with you, and nobody will ever laugh at you again. Oh, make me proud, Albert. All right, Ruth. I will. Oh. Let's go. You wait for me downstairs, and I'll put the dog in the back. Oh, Ruth, this is wonderful. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> and my car is in the alleyway. All right. Now, let's see what we've got for you in the fridge. One ring hang up call again? That's correct. He's one of the men from the theater. You found him? When I came back, I wanted another look around the room. What kind of person would strangle someone to death? Not answering. Ruth? Albert? Still warm. No one's here. Diefenbaker. I think he's gonna be all right. The drug knocked him out before he could finish all the meat. That probably saved his life. What kind of person would poison a dog? A Malfesian. Malfesian? A bad person. We need a car. Chicago PD, need the car. This way. It's going. Move it. Move, move it. Move it. It's going. Move it. Come on. There's rubber marks here where the tire was flapping. These metal scrapes are from when he was riding on a rim. And this is a gasoline spill. It was low octane. It was dirt in the line. Do hey, you think I'm losing my hair? No, it's full-bodied and bushy, Ray. It's this way. Now, the Ray, he's losing gas. He couldn't have gotten much farther than this. Maybe he got gas. Oh, Ray, come on. You know it's impossible to find a gas station in downtown Chicago. 
Hey, that's my car. Move it, come on. Get the lens out. Man used to frighten children. Are you a child? No. Get back, get back. So get back to work. Whoever has a micro dot also has the location. We lose these guns, we lose everything. We have to hit the police. We must trust someone. Ruth? 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 What if it is not of us? If he shows up here, he dies. Keep your head down. Oh. Okay. Keep it. Oh, finally. Finally what? It's over. I almost had you three years ago with the diamond merchant. And that 9,000 pairs of fake French blue jeans in Antwerp. I've never been to Antwerp. Again last year, at the boat show, in, in Buenos Aires. Remember that? With that freight full of fake Dave Clark Five memorabilia? I hate the Dave Clark Five. 20 years. In 20 years, I've hunted you, Nautilus. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. I think 20 years ago, she still would have been a child. Oh! I bought an eighth crate. You're in the eighth grade? Well, if the eighth grade would make you what? 12 and a half, 13, plus 20, 20, 32. No, that's, that's a valid point. That's a valid, oh, so you're the one. I know it. I was right the first time, wasn't I? Don't, 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 I don't want to know how old you were 20 years ago or what grade you were in, because it's too confusing to me. I'm not good at math, so. Well, actually, I was educated at home, and my exams, well, they were all flown in by bush plane. Drop it! Move! Work, Ray. All right. Well, let me get this straight. You're not Nautilus, right? Okay, and she's not Nautilus, right? And I'm not Nautilus. Nautilus, who's Nautilus? Drop your guns. So. All of you. She's Nautilus. Is that right? Never mentioned Nautilus. I realize that. Drop it! She had your man Yuri killed. So she's real. Nautilus is real. Very real. <laughs> Hello, am I the only one here who doesn't know who Nautilus is? Yes, it would appear so, Ray. I had my suspicions when I first disarmed you. The way you laid your finger along the trigger guard. It's very professional. Partners mean sharing. You ever hear that yes, phrase? Yes, I understand that. Could we, deal, could we deal with it later? Sharing. When you strangled Yuri, you used your knitting for the garrote. I detected traces of lanolin from the wool around his throat. Very clever. But right now, it's not doing you any good, is it? You're not going to get out of here. Who's going to stop me? I am. You used me. You lied to me every step of the way. Oh, shut up. People lie. You lie. That's life. No, no. Not about you. I had... I had real feelings about you. You know what? You're an old fool. And you're right. You're a coward. You hide behind ideas of love when the fact is 
You're afraid to take what you want. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I, I'm not afraid anymore. Don't make me shoot you. You're going to have to. It's interesting you should mention the Dave Clark Five, Mr. Pike, since it's not generally known that they were more than merely entertainers. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. You've ruined everything, you old fool. Where'd he go? For service to his city and his country, well above and beyond the call of duty, I present this citation to Albert Hanrahan. There's nothing written on it. Of course, it's blank a fool. Do you think the CIA wants to broadcast its assets? The fact there's nothing written on it proves that it's genuine. <laughs> You're both on the loose. Mr. Pike? No, I work with Pike. The name's Ike. Nada went back to Mother Russia, part of a prisoner exchange. What about the Nautilus? Escape. They were transferring her back to Federal. Took out three cops with one knit needle. Pike wants you to have this. Thank you kindly. She's out there somewhere. If it takes the rest of my life, I'll find her. Until we meet again. Signed, Pike.